I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today for lunch we'll be having Philly cheese steak and french fries. Today will be a sunny with a high of 45 degrees. Now for a quick teacher update. Congratulations to Alexis McKendry for being selected to the Westpac All-Conference team for varsity volleyball. Also, congratulations to Kayla Fenton for being selected to the Westpac All-Conference team for varsity golf. Now for a special teacher's edition. And also, congratulations to Kayla Fenton for being selected to the Westpac All-Conference team for varsity golf. Now for a special teacher's edition. What teacher is most likely to leave their keys in the car? Besides myself, which I would say probably me, Mrs. Papley. Okay. How do you feel that Miss Haggerty called you or said that you would most likely leave your keys in the car? Oh, my keys may be in the car right now, to be quite <laughs> honest. That, that's, a, that's a daily. That's a, that's a daily. That's a given. Way to go, Miss Haggerty. Fantastic. Okay. Who do you think is most likely to be late for their own wedding? Late for their own wedding. Let me see. That, once again, would be me. That would be me. I'm going to be honest with you. You know why? Because I'm not going to know where my keys are. Mm, okay. But if you had to pick another teacher? If I had to pick another teacher, who would be late for their own wedding? Oh, Mr. Robinson. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. How do you feel that Miss Pepley picked you to most likely be late to their own wedding? Because I literally was went late to my own wedding whenever I got married. And I'm not certain if she remembers that story or if she just knows me that well. But I was late for the pictures for my wedding. And my wife at the time thought that I was leaving her at the altar. So, yeah, it was not, uh, it was not a good situation. But uh, uh, that would probably be proof that I would be late. Oh, wow. She picked good then. Okay. She did pick well. Who do you think is most likely to secretly be an FBI agent? Justin Oakline. Why? Because he is certified in every subject in the world, and I feel that he is doing that so that he's well-versed in the educational entity to move in and out of classes and schools to pursue his FBI investigation that he is currently involved in, in my opinion. Okay. Okay. How do you feel that Mr. Robinson said that you were most likely to be to secretly be an FBI agent? Me. Um. That's fair. Okay. Who do you think is most likely to become a CEO out of all the teachers? Uh, Endler. Really? Why? Uh, he just has that presence. Wise man. Do you, do you agree with Mr. Ogline and him saying that Mr. Endler would most likely to become a CEO in the future? A CEO? Yeah. Um, I think Mr. Endler's future includes retirement. Okay. Who do you think is most likely to win a hot dog eating contest? The winner? On the staff? Yeah. Uh, let's see, I will say Mr. Alderton would be most likely to win a hot dog eating contest. Why? Because I think he could eat a lot of hot dogs. Okay. I take Ready? that as a compliment okay. from Ms. Miller. Uh, and if she wants to challenge me to a hot dog eating contest, then let's do it. Let's set it up. Okay. Who, who do you think, what teacher do you think is the most likely to have the most parking tickets? Mr. Endler. Why? Um, I don't know. I just have a feeling Mr. Endler, like, in his glove box, he probably has, like, a hundred parking tickets. You open it up and they just fall out. It's just my thought. 